So osteoporosis is a very common disease. Half of all women and at least a quarter of all men will experience a fracture due to osteoporosis sometime in their lifetime. The most uh, sort of shocking thing about hip fractures that occur in the U.S. is that the mortality within one year is uh, very high. Um, almost one in four individuals will die within a year of having a hip fracture, not necessarily because of the fracture itself, but because of some of the complications that happen afterwards. All right, so now let's talk about who should be tested or screened for osteoporosis and how can we do that? So there are a number of risk factors that are associated with more rapid bone loss. Of course, age is one of them. We are all losing bone as we age. Glucocorticoid therapy and other medications, these are um, including medications that we call steroids. Um, they can be uh, wonderful for reducing inflammation and treating diseases of uh, inflammatory different conditions, but they can cause uh, accelerated bone loss. Family history matters, particularly if you've had a parent who has had a hip fracture. Other things that raise your risk of fracture include use of tobacco and smoking, excessive alcohol intake. Um, all right. Once we've identified that um, you have a risk of fracture or you're just wondering how you can be proactive in improving your bone health, there are a number of things that we can all do. So these are the Surgeon General's recommendations for optimizing bone health um, from a lifestyle perspective. So um, you can get adequate calcium and vitamin D. Um, exercise is wonderful for many benefits, including um, strengthening your bones. You can reduce your risk of falls. So this means things like wearing um, shoes that are you know, not, uh, not likely to trip, um, making sure that in your house, if you have um, you know, throw rugs, that they're tacked down securely on the floor. It's important to maintain a healthy weight, um, and again, not too low because that does raise your risk of fracture. Um, don't smoke or cut back if you do limit alcohol use. Um, and finally, if you're taking medications or you have other conditions that might be associated with bone loss, do speak to your doctor about um, your risk. And so with that, I want to summarize again uh, take-home messages, which are, um, I, I hope I've um, made some progress in convincing you that fractures uh, due to osteoporosis are indeed a serious public health issue, um, but often are preventable. That your fracture risk does depend on a number of factors. The most important are age and whether you've had previous uh, fractures and bone density, but other things like your height and weight, family history, other medications, alcohol use, smoking all have an impact. Lifestyle changes are very important. They can definitely slow down the rate of bone loss. They're not often enough to completely reverse somebody who has osteoporosis, but they still remain very important. And when used properly, osteoporosis medications are very safe and effective.